Hello, welcome to Bars and Bells. My name is Lauren. And I'm Ian. And tonight, we're here for week five of the bar class. In this class, we'll be exploring our hip mobility with bars on the wall or a countertop or a balance aid at your side, as well as pressing a kettlebell overhead. So have a weight that you can press one, three, and four times, times two nearby, and we'll get started. Just as a disclaimer, I had a little bit of an incident earlier this week and my calf and I are okay, but make sure you probably follow along a little bit more with Ian tonight than copying what I do. <laughs> Not a great reason to follow along with me or that I get to do the foot warm up tonight, but we do hope Lauren gets a nice quick recovery and hope that you are in the same position of staying positive, even in the face of not so fun circumstances. But until we get to those other parts, let's get the feet in parallel. Effortless like get to the ball of the foot. Check in that the knee is facing to the front, just like the toes and just like the kneecap. Then as a maybe, depending on how crampy it could be, extend the hip, pushing the heel to the floor. Repeat on the other side, knee to the front, making sure it's not too far out. Adduct or bring it to the midline, in line with the kneecap, in line with those toes. Then get to the point foot, cramp up the arch just a little bit, but then give it confidence to come home with the balls of feet or demi points and extend the hip through. Repeat that one more time. It's the ball of foot shape, the toe tip next, and then balls of feet and a hip extension or using those glutes to straighten the knee. And one more time, ball of foot. Next is the point. Back to the demis or balls of feet and extend the hip through. Take a single leg to the front and then turn out in the hip return the leg underneath and do the same thing then on the other side. To the front, turn the hip underneath. Adding on, let's do the same thing of a ball of foot to the point, balls of feet, hip extend through. Same thing other side, keep that ankle bone pressing forward, strong lines through the toes, back down to the balls of the feet and through. Get to the ball of the foot this time and the toe point and for those who are able, just incorporate a little bit of a single knee bend. Then extend that hip through, balls of feet to the ground and heels connect next. And same thing, demi or point on one foot. Then a little knee bend on the single leg and extend the hip through, balls of feet and heels connect. This is probably not for Lauren right here, but in that first position, might we be able to find a first rise? If that's easy, Take your time, but maybe look around the room. Balance on those demis, including the big toe, and then heels down and shake it out. Now, I'm not exactly sure how Lauren's gonna get to the floor, but I invite you to get to the floor. And from there, Lauren will kind of coach us through some wrists and hips, and of course, the core. Okay, sorry, I thought you were telling them how to get down. <laughs> did an interesting swan dive there. You got it. We'll come to the floor and we'll place our hands on the floor. Spread out nice and wide. Shoulders pulled out of our ears and our elbow pits are facing forward. Now, let's do our light drift forward where we send those elbows, sorry, those shoulders towards over fingertips. And then we use our fingers to press ourselves back. Repeating that again as we drift forward. Let's pause here in some wrist extension how does it feel can you maintain that connection with the floor with all your fingers as well as keeping those elbows straight and the shoulders down push yourself back and one last time we'll pull forward and then we'll press through those fingers to press ourselves back out of that giving that a little shake and wiggle while we're here we'll sit in that tall kneel position as we practiced last week's last week with the hips nice and extended and the rib cage down we're thinking about pressing today Oh, and we're going to press out of this position. So those cage is down, hips are extended. Cage is down, hips are extended for three, two, and then relax, shake that out. Next, we'll come to our plank position and fire that up from there. Okay, because I can't go on my toes right yet, I'm going to be doing this from my knees. Feel free to do either position. So from your knees or your toes, you'll be walking yourself back into that plank-like position. Squeeze your cheeks. Pull the floor together tight underneath you. Your shoulders are pulling down. Your abs are bracing. You might say, wow, even from the knees, it's a lot of work creating that tension. Quivering underneath for five, four, two, and then just gently knees down, 
flick the floor away. Give that a little shake out. Let's do one more plank after we explore that splits position. Press from that Z press position for our split last week. And this week, we'll just very casually check in with the cues to maybe take us there in the following weeks. As allowed, dorsiflex those ankles, meaning pull the foot to the shin. Keep the kneecaps pointing towards the ceiling or turned out from the hips. And the hips themselves are sitting in that anterior or cow position. Next, rotate the torso and the head to look towards a certain leg of your choice and just gently hinge, keeping the long line between the head, the neck, the rib cage, and the hips, and very slowly return to tall. Do a full rotation to the other side and incorporate the same thing. Lead with the heart or sternum, avoid that flexing shape, staying nice and long, and then returning to tall and find the middle and go right through the middle now, keeping the spine long, just like before, neutral head position, maintain the breath, and back up to tall. Repeat one more time, we'll rotate the original leg. Maybe you can shore up some tension in that ankle as dorsiflex, and the same hinging action. Breathe into that place that feels like that nice load stretch to return tall. Same thing other side, gently dorsiflexing on that ankle as we can, shoring up that tension, very good cues for the kettlebell as well. Back up to tall, and final one, square on, through the middle, not urgently, but could we get towards that pancake, and slowly pull ourselves back up to tall. I'm gonna hand it back over to Lauren as we slowly get ourselves back up. And once we're standing, we'll integrate that kettlebell with some loaded carries to prep the core before the press. Excellent. Let's do one plank on our way back up here. So spin yourself around, flip yourself over, assume your plank position either from the toes or the knees today, and whatever it may be, grip the floor tight with those hands, pull the shoulders down, squeeze the cheek, and now just this time think about that X pattern of tension so that we imaginarily pull our right hand to our left hip and then our left hand to our right hip and creating cross body tension, being able to breathe underneath. All of our muscles are getting fired up for three, two. Now, if things were normal, I'd put my knees down. I'd tuck my toes. I'd rock myself back over to find that low squat position and then press myself. to top. Give that a little shake and wiggle and we'll come over to our kettlebell here, and let's get it to the rack position and just think about pressing this kettlebell. So we're right over top. We'll use our hinge. We'll pull, grip, punch through, hold. Ribs down, hips forward, just as we practiced earlier. Think about pressing this kettlebell. Then two hands, bell pull goes down. Shake it out. Same thing, second side. Hip hinge, grip. Pull to rack, it's up. Feet are rooted, cheeks are squeezed, abs are braced underneath, pinkies are driving towards the ceiling, and elbows are in tight. For three, two, two hands, park bell. Over the last weeks, we've played with our rep numbers, we played with our height levels, and this week we will be continuing all of that and progressing with some higher numbers. So our first set will be one rep. Our second set will be three reps. Our third set will be four, because one plus three is four. And then we're going to do that twice through. So we should just get our first press done right now. Okay? Ready. Let's, good. Set and press. Inhale, brace abs. One press. Inhale, pull down. Park bell. Good. Take a second off. Repeat on the second side. Inhale, brace abs. And Overhead, inhale, pull down, park bell. Great, one set down to the bar to the see bar. what happens. To the bar, see what happens. As we got prepped for this workout, I suggested to Lauren that I do it, but Lauren said, I wanna press. So here we are, and I wanna look back on this footage in a couple weeks from now when Lauren's hopping and skipping and running again. And it'll just be one of those things we had to deal with along the way part of the journey. So here we are and we'll work on straight leg tendus out front. So take a leg and just effortless like point it to the front finishing with the toes. 
My kneecaps are forward on this. We'll change out in a second. Then push the hip forward, return the leg underneath. Now take it to the side, but open from the hip that your kneecap, again, is facing away from the bar. And we have that nice turned out shape in the hip. And as you pull together, turn it back in the feet are parallel. Now reach it out to the back, try to keep that kneecap facing the ground as it's out the back, and then over the toes into under the hips, and final one out to the side, a nice tendu shape as well. Pull it back, in together. Now do a single turnout on a single leg, that's my inside leg there, and then repeat on the other side, so now we're turned out. And let's just do the same pattern now, both the front and the back. So turn out, and point to the front, hips forward, legs under, then take that leg to the side, maintaining that turnout shape as well. And now extend the hip forward as the toes back with straight legs, of course, and then underneath, and one final time to the side, and pull in. And for us, let's balance for Lauren, just chill and critique us here maybe. But here we are in the balance, on a flat foot, toes pointing down, knees facing side, hips forward, ribs over hips. Keep that checklist going. Return to two feet. And we could offer a lift or just gently hobble Take on over. Oh, that's a good looking walk today. Thank you. It is getting better. We are plastic. We are strong. We'll get there. So that feet in parallel, tondu or point to the front. Continue to condition the hips to extend forward as the leg returns underneath. Then we'll take the leg out to the side, but we'll open up from the hip right away and just ensure we can close that hip back to parallel. It's the same out the back, knees face the ground, or straight of course as well, and then underneath. And then as you reach out to the side, inseams forward and toes face forward underneath the hips. Now a single turnout followed by the other leg turned out in that first position. And now maintain the turnout to the front and then return the heels together. Keep that turnout. You can even test yourself without a hand on that bar and send energy in the hip forward as that leg is reaching back. Heels forward to first, final one to the side, great energy through those toes, pull it underneath. And then again, find that balance if available, flat foot for now, knee to the side, ribs over the hips, all those tall kneeling cues Lauren shared with before, but this time in a balanced pose. Return to the position and to the kettlebell master for our second set. It is set. Kettlebell Dark Lord. Yeah. That music. Three presses. Three. Ready? Right over top of your bell. Three successful presses. Inhale, pull. One. Inhale, pull down. Two. Inhale, pull down. Three. Inhale, pull down. Nice. Park that bell. Good. We are ultimately working towards a five by five set. Five presses each side, five rounds. As we progress, we will continue playing with those reps. So here we go for a second set of three. One. Inhale, pull down. Two. Inhale, pull down. Three. Inhale, pull down, park. Great job. Whoo, hoo, hoo. Good. And let's go back to that first position. Heels together or just slightly apart, but maintain that nice turned out shape. Next, we're gonna pull up to the ankle and then point out to the front and return on the efforts back. So pull up to the ankle, we've been there before, and now stretch the knee pointing out to the front. Return the heel underneath, and now point out front, and return the foot to the ankle, and then return to that tall stand on two feet. Pull up to the ankle, extend out to the side, land toe ball heel, excuse me, <laughs> leave it there, and close, toe ball heel is right, and then reach it out to the side again, bring it into the ankle, and then back down to the ankle, and this time we'll stretch out the back, followed by a close action, heels together, and then take that leg out the back, return knee bent to the side, keep it there, and for flat foot balancers, go for it, and for those who are interested to try that demi-point rise, hold for again a four, three, 
two and one, and return to the first position, shake and wiggle, and same thing on the other side. So the ankle, forward and then under and first, and then forward in tondu, ankle, and then back down. So feel that articulation and flick the toes to the ankle and then point it out to the front. Return the heels together and then tondu or point to the front, return the knee side and then back to standing on two feet. To the ankle again and extend reaching to the floor, toes, balls and heels of foot connect and then reach away, pull up to the ankle and back down to the first position. It's the back of that ankle coup de pied now, and we'll stretch out back with straight knees, heels drive that foot forward, and then tendu brush back, lift up to the ankle, and then back down. One more time to the side, ankle, stretch, pull in, get tall, and point to the side, return to the ankle, and again, flat foot balances, they're great, could we challenge them again on that demi point? and hold and hold and always control down and to lord vader presses set number three reps count for each side prepare for a lift off inhale to brace and use your breath inhale pull down two inhale three one more time butts and abs on the Four. Nicely done. Bell goes down. <sighs> Shake out what you can today. And same thing on the other side. Hip pinch. Inhale. And one. Inhale. Up. Two. Up. Three. Up. Oh, yeah. Good. Four. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Nice. <sighs> Three nice. sets now. We've been accused of making some sound effects, and Lauren just made some extra ones at the end there. But the hup and the intentional breath, they all aim to help. Let's get back here. And Lauren, for the second part of this one, might not be joining us. But with the first, we'll do a circle, Ronde Jam inspired leg with straight legs, second time on our bent leg. Tondu to the front. And this time, instead of going back under the hip, let's take it wide and reach it to the side. In this practice, we do like to keep that hip turned out with the hip forward as the leg reaches to the back and then heels forward, tondoing all the way front. Now send your hip energy forward as that leg reaches back, straight knees, of course, and then turn out of the hip and return it to the side, onto the front and back to first. Now this time, the single leg that you stand on does the bending and keep heavy on the pinky side of your toe bending leg to stay balanced and reach out of the hip and reach to the back. Stretch nice and tall, connect the heels together and finish with a toe point forward. And final time reversing, when the heels touch, we can bend that knee and turn out of the hip from the back to the side and onto the front and hips forward, legs under, Balances to finish, and this time we'll find that passe position at the knee. Or down low, find the place that's challenging for you, and that flex foot Lauren's showing is working for her today. Try to point, but work with what you got, and back to the first position and a shake. So it's the same thing then on the other side. After you. Oh, go thank ahead. you. There Thanks, you go. sir. There you go. And Ready to do it on the other side. So in that first position, it's that straight leg to the front and I'm considering pulling up my kneecaps so my other Lauren, my other instructor, doesn't yell at me when I do it in her class. So take it to the back then and continue to brush the heel forward, finishing with a tendu point and then lead with the toes back, the knee straight, circle to the back, onto the side and the side to the front, back underneath. Now test yourself without the bar, but maintain the turnout on the standing bent leg, and then open the circle, keep the turnout, keep those knees stretched as it goes to the back, stand tall, brushing the heel forward, finishing with our point, the toes lead us back, the knee is straight, and as I say that, I can straighten it even more, and we're turning out of the hip to the front, heels connect, find the balance that's appropriate for you, down low, 
or in that passe position at the knee, higher. Activate those hamstrings, feel that nice tension to support, bending the knee to the side, toes point, and then let's return to the first position. And this is, I believe, our fourth set of our That's kettlebell right. press. So this is a quick set here. We're going back to the number one. So one quick rep on each side. Inhale to brace, pick it up. It's and then it's, and it's two hands to the floor. Repeat one rep on that second set. And up. one. Inhale, pull down. Park bell. Whoo! Nice work. Thank you. Oh, maybe she was talking to you. I'm talking to everyone. But no matter who, keep up the good work, and let's get back to the bar. Let's work on some leg lifts and holds for time. We'll keep the knee bent in the attitude position. So pull up to the ankle, and let's just do our first attitude from down low as we hold a slightly bent knee in line with the belly button, toes pointed, in three seconds or less, return it to that ankle position. Stay down low if that's for you, or could you climb further up to the knee? And same thing for an attitude position at the front, and hold. Maintain the turnout of the femur and the hip, maintain the nice toe point, and then back to the passe. And if we have one more set of balances here, could we find that demi point on the standing leg, maybe arms in that first position, hugging in a beach ball, always revisiting those cues that are shared with us, and then back down to first and to two feet. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Feel free to again, just maybe stand on a single leg balance and we can challenge that even by closing those eyes, working on those proprioceptors, but until we have to modify, let's try the attitude. So first, at the ankle, knee to the side and reach forward. Not a fully straight leg, but continue to pull the femur head into the hip and extend the other hip forward. That you're almost ready to go up on that releve if we need to. Then return the knee to the side, foot underneath. Stay low, recline to the passe position, and the knee doesn't drop here. Try to keep the knee up nice and high, and I'm trying to find my front foot, front of the foot rather, so I could rise up. And then, just set it, so let's do it. Find that releve hold, if that's available for you. Knee side, nice strong balance, and with control, return to the floor. And then to the bell. To the bell. So our second set, as you recall, was three presses. So let's get those three done here with a big prepare for lift off. Inhale and up one. Inhale down. Up two. Inhale down. Up three. Inhale down. Great. Place that bell down. <sighs> Take your time. Same thing. Other side. Inhale. It's up, driving through the pinky. Inhale down. Prepare to squeeze tight again using that off arm. One more time. Hup. Oh, good. Bell goes down, stays down. You're up. Whew. One more set to go. Just pushed off a little funny. It's all good. Okay. No pain, no gain. We don't love that. So making sure everything feels okay. It's all okay. good. Until then, let's get into our first position. We'll be standing on a single leg and drawing those circle shapes at the knee with a leg out to the side. Pull up that outside leg to the ankle and continue to pull up to pass it at the knee if available. Now we'll extend the leg out and continue to draw an inward circle. So foot goes towards the inside to the knee and then a straight line back out. Repeat again towards the inside and then back out nice and extended. Now reverse that circle or D shape to the knee and then an outward circle inclusive of the point and one more time to the knee, outside circle, point. Then find that passe. Then perhaps find your releve and now could we find an attitude hold out front and breathe, arms on hands, arms overhead, return to that passe position, return to two points, and down with control. And that's the same thing on the other side. Inside and outside circle Ds, 
followed by an attitude position out front. In the first, pull up to the ankle and feel free to stay down low and then perhaps travel on higher to the knee and straighten out. And I'll be drawing an inside circle to my midline and then back on out, nice extended knees. Inside circle to the knee, back out nice and strong and reversing, it goes to the knee and then forward to the knee and one more time to the forward shape, back into passe, balance on flat feet or on those releves and then an attitude position out front. Hold, challenge those arms, use the bar, back to the knee, return, shake and wiggle if you can. And this is our sixth set, I think, right here. This is, so six set of presses tonight. Ooh. Going back to that big number, the number four. If you have four, let's do four solid reps. If you feel like four is one or two too many, do less, make sure your last rep is still good. So we remember that good rep for next week. Inhale, brace, pick it up, one, inhale down, two, inhale down, three, one more, oh, good, feeling good, I haven't pressed that guy in a while that many reps, so that feels nice, mm -hmm. nice. all right, <laughs> same thing, other side, inhale to brace, one, inhale down, two, three, one more, tight, oh, good, and then place it down. Ooh, that tested it a little bit there, didn't it? Nice. Six sets complete, and as Lauren maybe isn't going to do this next weight transfer, she's instead going to tell me what to do. Show me that weight transfer, Lauren. Tell me what to do here. Okay. We'll stand with our feet. It's really hard to talk. I've been learning. Uh, stand with our feet slightly wider than our hips where we just are able to touch are you to do the it? other side. No, I'm going to pretend. Okay. I need to pretend a little bit here. Okay. Before we go anywhere, let's just lightly pull the floor together underneath of us. Pulling together, feeling those adductors, but also feeling those hips extend. Then we'll transfer weight onto a single leg. Here we're nice and balanced, the hip is extended, and either with, the, with that pointed foot, can we take that leg, drawing the circle to the front, and then draw the leg to the side, land toe ball heel, through center, transfer to the other leg. On that standing leg, the hip is extended, standing nice and straight, we'll take the moving leg and point it to the front, and then we'll draw that leg back to the side, Land toe ball heel through center onto the first leg again, up and over. This time, can we lift the leg a little bit higher and bring it to the front and hold with that nice point of foot, the inseam turned up, we're holding, then bring it back to the side, land toe ball heel and pull yourself across to do the same thing on the other side. So on that other side, the leg is out to the side. I don't want to miss out on my leg lifts. And then lifting out front and holding for three, two, bringing it back to the side, the landing toe ball heel. Let's do one more round this time on that bent leg. So you pull yourself across on your bent leg, pushing down to hold it steady. Then take that moving leg and as we bring it to the front, could we lift it even higher and hold and hold. And then back to the side, keeping it high this time and then placing it down and pulling yourself across on that bent leg to the other side and repeating. So you'll lift that leg to the side and then we'll lift it higher out front. Good. And then keeping that bottom knee bent as we lift to the side, a land toe ball heel, pull to center. Let's keep both knees bent there for a second. And now with both knees bent, gently pull the floor together underneath you. Feel that tension, pull, 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 pull. Then push down and away, but don't move. Then pull yourself maybe a little bit lower. Then push down and away, don't move. Now push so much you stand up all the way through to tolly tall. And with that tolly tall, we're done. Done. We're done. And thank you very much for joining us live or in the archive to you. And thank you for joining me. You saved my words a little bit, gave me 
some inspiration to me and hopefully to our audience that yes, injuries happen, but we can overcome them. If we're patient enough, we're plastic enough, we'll do it and we'll do it together. And we'll continue doing what we can. Yeah. Yeah. So until Saturday, will we play with our body weight strength live at 8 a.m. over on the other side of the room? And then back Tuesday for week six of our strength and swings, our bar, and our body weight. We're getting close to finishing up our first semester. If you've missed some classes, feel free to check them out in the archive. Go back to 2023. There's so many out there. But we always practice those basics together. And until next time, like and subscribe. And take care. Stay strong. And let's train soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. You stay there. I'll turn it off. I was going to say, you have to I think run. I know how this time. <laughs> I think I know how. Bye-bye.